Hello everyone, I'm Anne from Coventry Libraries and today I'd like to have a go at a family craft activity and we're going to make a flying fish. It's nice and bouncy and it's hopefully very simple to make. You can see it a bit better if I hold it to the camera. There he is. So, to make our flying fish, we need some card. You can use paper if you haven't got any card to hand. And we also need something to make a curve. So I'm going to use a saucepan lid, but you can use anything you want to. Um, we'll need some a pencil and some glue, some sellotape, some scissors, and an adult might need to do some of the cutting out. And we'll also be using some coloured pencils and an, a pen, a dark black or black pen. And we also need something to hold our fish with. So I've used some elastic, some elastic today, but you could use thread or ribbon or anything you want to. Okay, so we're going to start with our card and we're going to make a curved line by using the top of our saucepan lid. So I've made a nice curve and I've just made two markers to show where I want my fish to carry on along the bottom. And I'm just going to use my saucepan lid again just to make my lower curve. So I'm going to line up my saucepan lid with um, my dots and that should give us a nice fish shaped curve. There we are. And then because we need something to glue our lovely tail to, I'm just going to make a really small sort of rectangle shape here to glue our tail onto. So I'll just draw that in and we can do it quite look roughly. I'm going to do it like that. And now we're ready to draw and colour our fish. So I've got a marker pen and I'm going to start by just doing a curve to make our fish face. And I'm going to outline our fish as well just so we can see what we're doing a bit more clearly. It doesn't matter if it's not a perfect shape we just need the rough outline. Now I'm going to do an eye and a smiley mouth. And now I'm going to draw in our scales. And so we just want lots of sort of semicircles and we're going to build these up as we go along. Like this. That's all our scales finished. Now you probably can't see very well, but I can actually see through to the back of my card and you can see through paper as well. And so I'm going to do the back of my fish as well. And I'm just going to follow the lines from the front. So I'm going to have a front and a back to my fish. But if you like, you could just have, just do the front, front part. So there's my fish on the other side. I'm just going to finish off these scales. Like 
and they don't have to be perfect. There we go. So we've done the other side of our fish and now the bit I like the best, we're going to do our colouring. And I've got some coloured pencils today, but you could use anything you've got at home. So you could use um, crayons or felt tip pens, or you could even do some gluing and sticking of tissue on your fish. So I'm just going to start colouring my fish. Now I've finished one side, I'm going to the other side. Halfway there. Now we've finished colouring our fish on both sides, we can put them out. We can use tissue paper strips or crepe paper or any colour paper you've got in the house. But I've made some rainbow strips just with a piece of paper and some colour pencil or colour pencils that we used earlier on. So I'm going to start by very quickly making some stripes. Like this. Like this. We've got lots of colours on our paper and I'm going to do the back as well with the same colours. When we're finished, we've got all our rainbow colours on our piece of paper and then we can just cut out some long thin strips. Nearly done. So we've got our strips cut out. Now I'm just going to cut them all off like that. And so now we've got all our strips to use and we're going to glue them onto our fish. So we need our glue stick for this and we need loads of glue. And I'm just going to stick them on one by one. As we go. Can you see? And there's our lovely fish tail. And the last thing we need to do is to give our fish some string so that we can bounce him up and down or wave him around. So we've got our fish and 
I'm going to stick the elastic on our fish. And to start with, we're going to tape our elastic so it's going back towards the fish's tail, can you see? Like that. And then just to make it a bit stronger, we're going to bring it back on itself and stick it again. So then hopefully it won't fall off too easily. And there we've got our flying fish. And we've got a friend for our other fish now. So I hope you've enjoyed our craft activity today. And I'm looking forward to seeing you again soon. Bye bye.